The next decade of Monday Night Raw is going to be very monotonous because there will be no universal title changes. For the next 500 episodes, this is all you will see. Me in this ring holding this championship. Guys, are you seeing this? Unfortunately, yes. I'm not sure why Trey from NXT is here, but let's focus on our champion. Yeah. Look. <laughs> I said fuck all the politics. Uh, there ain't no scholarships. What's good, Ripper Gang? And welcome back to another video with your boy Sober. Today, we will be doing more of WWE 2K20's mockery. So remember, as we left off, we had just won the NXT Women's Championship, and Trey had just got his revenge on the Velveteen Dream. So now, looks like we are on our way to the main roster as we get ready to start Chapter 9. So everybody that's new to the channel, I would like to welcome you to Gaming with Soul Rip. And for all my day ones, and for anybody else, you guys know what you can do for me. Hit that like, share, and subscribe button. Make sure your notification bell is turned on. That's the way every time I drop a video, you will be notified. So without further ado, Ripper Gang, let's get straight into this video. Oh, some more Joe is here. So I wonder, does this mean we made it to the original roster, maybe? Maybe we did. Maybe we didn't. But seeing Samoa Joe with the universal title makes me feel like we did. So I'm not really going to talk about my time in NXT. Overall, it was great, but I don't want to give Rhea Ripley the attention after what she did. She could have ended my career before it even started. I still think you should have changed your name to Red Eye after that. And think of the marketing opportunities for airlines and allergy medicine that would have come your way. You left a lot of money on the table. Can you focus on our speech instead of bringing up bad ideas from the past? Bad ideas? There's another tie-in you missed out on. Please come in and save me from my idiot best friend. Hey, soon-to-be Hall of Famers. It's my old tag partner. That didn't last very long, did it? Unfortunately, no. I just wanted to say that I am so excited and honored to induct you tonight. We wouldn't want anyone else to do it. I mean, Undertaker would have been pretty cool. Or President Rock. He actually texted us today. Check it out. Can you please stop insulting Rhonda before she snaps your arm off? It's fine. Oh, now I can't find the text. Please tell me I didn't accidentally delete it. Rhonda's the perfect person to induct us. She and I had some intense battles when I first got into WWE. Especially that Money in the Bank match with the arm bar on top of the ladder. I am definitely going to mention that tonight. And... I have to tell that story about Trey's first night on Raw. That was crazy. Do you think messages from the president self-destruct? Like, for security reasons? I don't know about that. Oh, I almost forgot. This was on your door. See you out there soon. What is it? It's a note from my parents. You haven't talked to them in years. No, my real parents. It says they're going to be at the Hall of Fame ceremony tonight. Wow, I, I can't believe it. I can't believe it either. Between never hearing from them again after they sent me that letter in high school and then all those times I left tickets for them and they didn't show, I, I'd given up hope. But now I'm finally going to meet my actual real parents. This is so cool. Are you sure it's not some kind of misunderstanding? It, it has to be them. Look, they signed it the same way they signed the letter I got in high school. This... Really isn't the best time, but maybe we should talk about this whole thing with your birth parents. No, you can't do this. What's there to talk about? They must have finally seen me on TV and tracked me down, which is all thanks to you. You're the one who encouraged my big debut on Raw, remember? So it looks like there was a letter from Trey Parents who was supposed to have passed away a long time ago. And Ronda Rousey is inducting us into the Hall of Fame. So, I guess life is okay. Everybody gets what they want. 
Maybe. That's like your third plate. Are you sure you don't have a tapeworm? It's just the food here at Raw is so much better than what I'm used to at NXT. Do you try these black beans? They really nailed the seasoning. I'm good. Don't want mm. a case of the bean cramps during my Money in the Bank qualifying match tonight against Ronda Rousey. Mm. You're lost. I mean, don't get me wrong. There are reasons other than the food that I'd like to join you here on Raw. It's been kind of weird in NXT by myself. Well, whenever you're done stuffing your face, it wouldn't hurt if you made the rounds mm. here and introduced yourself. Never know what could happen. You know what? That's a great idea. I'll do that right now. And by the time I'm done, dessert should be out. Sure, I'll clean up your plate. Hey, where are you going? That goes out to the arena. Uh-oh, what has Trey got up his sleeve now? It's Finally, you all have a champion you can be proud of. And now that I've climbed this mountain, I plan on enjoying the view for a very, very long time. In fact, our GM, Randy Orton, might not like me saying this, but I'm the champ now, so who cares? The next decade of Monday Night Raw is going to be very monotonous because there will be no universal title changes. For the next 500 episodes, this is all you will see. Me in this ring holding this championship. Guys, are you seeing this? Unfortunately, yes. I'm not sure why Trey from NXT is here, but let's focus on our champion. Not the reaction I was expecting, but for those of you who find this upsetting, I'm sure there are other so-called championship matches you can watch where the titles will change hands frequently, but not mine. Okay, this guy's officially insane. Security, do your jobs. Are you kidding me? Uh, I saw him visiting backstage, but I guess he had other plans. Are you lost? You know this is an NXT, right? Let him in the ring. It's cool. Come on, Joe, you're giving him what he wants. This guy craves the spotlight. You mind telling me what you're doing out here? I think we'd all like to know. I got some really good advice from my friend Red. She's kind of new to Raw, but I'm sure you know who she is, right? Super talented. Bit of a temper sometimes, but you can relate. Anyway, she said I should go around and introduce myself, and I figured, why not start with the Universal Champion himself? So I'm Trey. Pleasure to meet you. I'm not sure this is going to end well for Trey. Do you think I'm some kind of joke? No, no, not at all. Shut your mouth before I break your arm. I didn't plan on competing tonight, but after your little interruption, I guess I'm going to have to start my decade of dominance one week early. I wasn't planning on competing tonight either. I actually just ate a ton of food at catering and my stomach's killing me. You mind if we postpone until next week? I'm afraid that is not an option. Okay, fine. But if I'm doing this, your, your title's on the line, right? <laughs> sure. I didn't get to properly introduce myself. I'm Samoa Joe. The man who's going to choke the life out of you. We have an impromptu Universal Championship match coming up next. I think it's going to be more of a slaughter than a match. I'm afraid you're right, Corey. We've seen Trey do some great things in NXT, but I don't think he's ready for this kind of challenge, especially with no time to prepare. Yeah, well, it's too late now. This is happening, and I can't wait. I don't think this is going to last very long. Unfortunately, I have to agree. Yet another counter. Samoa Joe locks in the Coquina clutch. Told you it wasn't going to last very long. Wait a second. Trey counters. Joe's shoulders are down on the mat. He did it. Give it to the Universal Champion. 
I guess I was still right about it not lasting long, but this is unbelievable. All hell is broken loose on Raw, and we have a NXT superstar who just won the okay, Universal Championship. This is unprecedented. What yeah, happens next? Other than Trey Definitely. running for his life, I have no idea. Look at the Noah Joe Rose. Man, he's mad. He pissed off the more Joe, man. But I can't believe he just won the Universal title. Oh, my goodness. Like, that's what's up. Hey, wait! Can't slow down. Joe's gonna kill me. Shouldn't have eaten all that food. What the hell did you just do? I took your advice and it worked. I'm Universal Champion! I meant you should talk to someone like the GM to try and get a call up. Not interrupt Samoa Joe. I mean, congrats, your crazy way of doing things worked yet again, but now what? I haven't thought that far ahead. I'm just enjoying the moment. Also, I might throw up. <sighs> also, you're my ride. Sorry. <sighs> yeah, he pissed. If you find your friend before I do, you tell him this is far from over. Well, looks like Trey's in some trouble with Samoan Joe. Not that there are any easy matches in WWE, but this is a, certainly a tough draw for Red in this Money in the Bank qualifying match. Oh, I agree, Mike. Well, having to defeat Ronda Rousey just to get a chance to compete in the Money in the Bank ladder match is no easy task. It's kind of like surviving an encounter with a great white, only to get thrown into a river of piranhas. Good luck with that, Red. Things aren't looking good for her. Oh, elbow. She goes to the outside now. Uh, I think she's starting to get worried, Michael. Gotta respect the strategy to work over the arm. And the referee starts his 10 count. Taste it there, the crowd as the referee's the count continues. Look at this. Oh, she reversed that? Four. Rousey able to counter beautifully. Shit breaker. Six. And she's back Seven. in the ring now. It's rare that a competitor can steal the show in their very first match, but Ronda Rousey did just that, and she did it at WrestleMania. It's a guy right on the mark. Woo wee! Boom! Oh, what an uppercut, Jordan. She's feeling the hurt here. Yeah, but too soon to be worried. Well scouted reversal there. Oh, Olympic slam. <laughs> Reverses. Can she take advantage? Oh, what a clothesline. Forcefully delivered. What is he? Oh, a knee. Lights out. <laughs> Oh, a scoop slam! Oh, right to the midsection. Elbow smash! Ooh-wee! Anticipated that attack perfectly. Oh, look at this here. Arm wrench! Smart attacking the arm. Snap suplex. That offense really hitting her hard. She's not rising to the occasion right now. Wicked body shot. Rousey able to counter beautifully. A striking blow. Ooh, what a punch. That's how you stop your opponent. Ooh, 
Devastating elbow. This could be huge. Whoa. She scores big with the counter. Not again. One of these competitors is eventually going to have to gain the upper hand. And finds a counter. All right, it's cinched in. This could be uh -oh. it. Oh, 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 package driver. Red setting up for something big. Hold on, what is Samoa Joe doing out here? Did you find your friend yet? Huh? Where is he? Answer me. I don't know where he went. This is not my problem. Here comes Ronda from behind. Piper's hit. And that'll do it, Ronda Rousey. Samoa Joe got some nerves, man. He is furious that Trey took that title from him. He said he won't stop until he get his title back. Can't blame him, really, though. Hey, there's like a hundred other benches in this mall. Go find one. Look. Seriously, I will not hesitate to punch you in the junk. Trey? Yeah, it's me, but keep it down. I'm indiscreto. I think you mean incognito? Whatever, I just don't want Samoa Joe to find me. I'm pretty sure he's not here. Good, but just in case, look off into the distance when you're talking to me. I tried calling you all week, but your phone went straight to voicemail. That's because I smashed it. I'm also wearing different deodorant to throw Samoa Joe off my trail. Can't be too cautious. And I don't know if you heard, but Joe ended up costing me my money in the bank qualifying match. You poked the bear and then ran away leaving me to deal with him. I'm sorry, and I'll make it up to you somehow, but don't get hot because I'm the universal champion. That's not what this is about. Are you sure you're not a tiny bit jealous I won a title in WWE before you when you're supposed to be the in-ring star? And I did it when I wasn't even an official member of the roster. I mean this in the nicest way. But you got lucky. I reversed a coquina clutch into a pin. That's not luck. I'm the one who taught you that when we were training in Calgary. Fine. Then I guess this is yours. Take Stop. it. Stop. One of the reasons I was trying to get a hold of you is Randy Orton wants to give you a short-term Raw contract. So congrats. You got what you wanted, at least as long as you're champion. Yes! I mean, yes! Don't get too excited. Orton also wanted me to let you know you're defending your title on Monday. Hmm. Let me guess, against Samoa Joe? No. He's mad at Joe for letting this turn into the single worst thing to ever happen in WWE. His words. So instead, you're going to face Brock Lesnar. Cool. Oh, shit. You sure you don't want this? Sorry, you got yourself into this. Don't be scared. Don't be scared, man. It's just Brock Lesnar. Come on, dude. We got this. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. And is for the WWE Universal Championship. Introducing the challenger from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 295 pounds, Brock Lesnar! And introducing the champion from Tennessee, weighing in at 295 pounds, 
He is the WWE Universal Champion, the Grim Reaper. Winning the Universal title makes you the guy in WWE. Between interrupting and defeating Samoa Joe and essentially going into hiding before being awarded a temporary world contract, it's certainly been a roller coaster of a week for our Universal Champion Trey. Our GM wants that roller coaster ride to come to a screeching halt. So much so that he convinced Brock Lesnar to compete in a non pay per view match for the first time in years. It doesn't take a genius to predict that this will be the first and last time the Trey defends the Universal Championship. Hey, no one thought he'd be in this position tonight, but he somehow pulled that off. Never say never. Never. Get up, You did It's a jewel here. A striking blow. Scoop slam. Brock Lesnar with a nice reversal. That was just disrespectful. You guys know what I like most about Brock Lesnar? It's that he lets his actions in the ring do the talking for him. I wish a lot more people would employ that strategy. Larry! I don't know what he has planned out here, but he must be mindful of the referee's count. Oh, look at him. Do we have a measurement on that? The champ trying to roll with these hits. He had to be prepared to take some damage tonight. Really just laying it in. <laughs> now it's Lesnar making him pay. And another reversal. Seems like we're back where we began, Michael. Look at that strength. Incredible. Five. Some superstars love to talk the talk, as Corey was alluding to. But with Brock Lesnar, it's as if there's no time for talk. He just wants to get in there, get the job done, and leave. Just like his shirt says, eat, sleep, conquer, repeat. Destruction just comes naturally for the Beast Incarnate. The offensive Brock Lesnar is working well right now. Oh, what a counter. Brock counters with the F5. It's Samoa Joe. Wait, he's got Paul Heyman in the Coquina clutch. Why? Is he insane? And now the beast is headed straight for Samoa Joe. Why does he look like Donkey Kong? Joe's unloading on Brock with that baseball bat. Wait, the, the bell just rang. I, I think the referee disqualified Trey for Samoa Joe attacking Brock. Trey still retains the Universal Championship. That's my Universal title, and I'm going to take it back. Not anyone else. So, Randy Orton, until you give me my rematch, get used to this happening over and over again. Yeah. Randy Orton, until you give him this rematch, everybody you send out to face me for this title, it's a more joke. It's brutally Strong message. It is going down on the main roster since we got here. Just things popping out of nowhere, man. Trey wins the Universal Championship his first night on Raw. Dude, it's exciting, but kind of creepy at the same time because you don't know what's going on. But as for right now, we're in the back of the locker room, I guess. Getting ready to talk to Randy Orton. Carmella? Okay, I guess. Let's talk to Randy first. Hey, Vipes. Heard you wanted to talk? Look, I get you're trying to do what's best for your career, but I'm not your biggest fan right now. So don't walk in here like some jackass calling me Vipes or any other stupid name you come up with. 
I'm feeling a negative vibe here. But maybe we should try to work together since this jackass is your universal champion. Ooh, getting a little slick there, ain't you? Not for long. You got lucky tonight with Samoa Joe helping you, but that will not happen again next week when Joe is banned from the building. Yeah, that's what you think. Solid move, Mr. Raw General Manager Randy Orton. Is that better? Don't test me. Uh, don't test me, Randy. So next week, am I facing Brock Lesnar again? No, he had his shot. You're going up against someone I can guarantee will take your title and send you packing back to NXT. And who is that? Kurt Hawkins? Yeah, that's it. Really? No. You'll be facing the monster among men, Braun Strowman. Oh, shit. Really? Really? Strowman? Yeah. I guess we're gonna be slaying the monster as well. Just slay the beast. Hey, I heard you're in the Fatal 4-Way Last Chance match. So that means you only need to beat three women tonight, then five other women who didn't need two tries to qualify for the Money in the Bank match to then get a chance to face me for my title. I'm not much of a gambler, but I really like those odds. How about we forget those eight other women that I smash you in the face and take your title right now? Because I really like those odds. I know you're used to handouts everywhere else you've been, but last time I checked, they don't call me Mela is Charity. So good luck, long shots. Or Mela is talking crap, bro. Check her out. She'll be happy with that title. They don't call her Mela is Charity. <laughs> they don't call you Mela is Money no more neither now. Hey, I meant it when I said I would make up for Samoa Joe costing you your money in the bank qualifying shot last week. So, how can I help in the last chance match tonight? I appreciate the offer, but I think I want to handle this one on my own. Besides, haven't you caused enough trouble around here already? Don't you want to guarantee a spot in the money in the bank match? It could lead to you holding a title, which I know you're dying to do so you can shut me up about winning one before you. I don't know. Accept Trey's offer to interfere or decline it. Yeah, I think we're gonna do this on our own. Yeah, I think we're gonna do this one on our own. If I can't win on my own tonight, then I don't deserve to be in the Money in the Bank ladder match. All right, good luck. If you change your mind, I'll be in catering. Gotta take advantage of it while I can. All right, so we got a big match tonight to qualify. As this last chance fatal four-way elimination match gets underway, you can almost feel the sense of desperation in the air. That's just Saxton trying to line up a date for after the show. Okay, I'm going to ignore that, but what I believe Michael was referring to is the fact that only one of these women will earn the final spot in the upcoming Money in the Bank ladder match. The other three, they'll go home empty-handed. Down to the floor. Check this out. And she's back in the ring now. Plenty of fight left. She got the shoulder up. That's all that counts. She returns the favor there. And again, yet another counter. Looking stunned. Looking rocked. Nice right hand. Teen off. Bailey is showing she can talk trash and taunt with the best of them. Close line! Well, oh, that'll be a And it's Ember Moon finding the answer. No, another reversal. Neither one of them are willing to give an inch here. Scoop slam! Making it look easy. Now we have Ember Moon on the attack. Knee drop. That was nasty. So precise. Funny Bulldog. Ooh, and Bailey comes down with a knee across the face. She's got a long way to go before she should be thinking about a pitfall victory here. 
Oh, saw it coming. Whoa, it's another reversal. Would you look at this? It looks like they both did their homework heading into this one. A quick reversal by Bailey. Oh, 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 oh. Producing a trampoline. That is a great reversal. Wow, she turned that one around. Oh, she turns it around. Drop kick. It hits the mark. To the outside. Mid kick right to the gut. And another reversal. Seems like we're back where we began, Michael. With a Samoan drop. Down in a hurry. Right across the face. Boom! Oh, nasty impact. She keep her down. Bailey quickly getting the shoulder up. Not yet. She's got her. There she goes. And Ember Moon tries the early cover. One, two. Big time. Yeah, seem to be just testing the waters a bit there. this here. Cover here. Filthy German suplex. She's not done yet. Oh, wow. She's in full control now. Down. The Jenoku driver. Nice drop kick. Here she goes. Back in the ring now. What a hit from Ember Moon. Flatliner. And Ember Moon, too quick. Now we have Ember Moon on the attack. Wicked body shot. Just a step quicker. Boom, oh, windmill kick. This might be it. Bailey with an easy kick out there. She doesn't look huggable right now. She looks down right at What's coming next? Yes! Ooh. Dragon suplex! I'm on your shoulders! Toss to the outside! This could be big! Explorer suplex! She's got the shoulders down. Ember Moon with an easy kick out. She got her shoulder up, and we continue. Double axe handle. What's coming next? Elbow drop. Piercing. Look at this. Snap suplex. Looking for the victory. Two. I gotta tell you, I thought she was done there. On the shoulders. A quick reversal by Bailey. Uh -oh. There she goes. Exiting the ring. Very interesting game plan here. will break this one up. Looks like she's got a new lease on life here, Cole. Just caught flush. Nobody hits that one better. Sonya Deville better not. And the cover for the... There it is! That'll hinder your mind. And Moon has been eliminated. <laughs> Bailey's got it hooked. Belly to Bailey! Find the nearest exit. It's a 
over. Can that beat Sonya Deville? Sonya Deville has been eliminated. Lower back. Rolling cutter. Shoulders down. This was set up right the two. It was set up right the two. Bailey has been eliminated. There's the match right there. Here is your winner, the Queen! That was a big pinfall oh. victory right there. Hey, this isn't just about going out there and making sure everybody's entertained. You've got to win your matches, and that's exactly what happened here. A will to win was on display. Folks, we just saw one of the most exciting matches you'll see anywhere. That went so I, don't, I couldn't even plan that better. And I didn't plan it, so that was the good part about it. These six superstars know they'll soon be opponents in the Money in the Bank ladder match, so how difficult is it to set that aside and compete as teams in a match like this? I agree. It must be somewhat uncomfortable knowing that in a matter of days, your teammate will be standing across from you in one of the most physical matches in all of WWE. If I were one of these women, I'd take advantage of this situation. Not only is it a chance to scout the opposing team, but you can also pick up some inside info on your teammates that may come in handy in the ladder match. In fact, if these women aren't taken that way, they're missing out on a huge opportunity. Quick pin attempt here. She's got a long way to go before she should be thinking about a pinfall victory here. So I guess even if my team Boom! What a high kick! So I guess we still win. Oh, front thrust kick! Just get out here. Fight it out. Uh oh, look at this! Do? What do they want to do? What Over time, there have been various types of six man teams that have been successful. There are family trios like the Guerreros, the Grams, the Andersons, and the Von Erics. There have been members of factions who have also produced tremendous six man teams like the Fabulous Freebirds, the Four Horsemen, NWO, and D Generation X. The cover! Very curious move to go for a pinfall at this point. It's going to take more than that to keep her down. Rousey able to counter beautifully. Ooh, what impact. Something. Come on. Oh! She scores big with the counter. What a punch! Let's go. Let's go. Byron, you mentioned some fit. Here's the early cover from Ronda Rousey. <laughs> Remarkable. Elbow drop. Oh, I hit the rip. Okay. Elbow drop. Big time. Oh, what a crash. And Shayna Baszler evades that one. Shayna Baszler tries the early cover. Ronda Rousey kicks out of the pin early. It's going to take more than that. Changes her fortune there. In a bad way here, guys. Oh, 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 oh. An incredible combination. Back between the ropes. <laughs> Ronda Rousey connected with a good shot there. Here's a tag. Opponent off the ropes. Man, that was.
was a will she win it here? She is ready for a fight tonight. Hoping to make a tag here. And it sounds like there are a lot of people here tonight hoping for the exact same thing. Here we go. She's almost there. The tag looks to be inevitable at this point. She makes the tag. And look at her partner go. The queen setting up. I know what she can do. Oh, and they right to the face. Come on, dude. Oh, by the next. The shoulders. Oh, uh -oh. no. That stunner. Oh, my goodness. Great I technical prowess from Bianca Belair. Oh, 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 to the back oh, of the man. neck. A hey, quick finish. Can she do it? I'm not sure what made her think now was a good time for a pin attempt. Slam. Gets the tag. Tag you. Uh oh. Delivering the suplex. Oh, 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 Get into your own car. Tagged in. Launched with a belly to belly. You think I got hit by your own car. Flatliner. Oh, get up, Shayna. You might break in the room. Target in the room. Oh, oh, I don't leave a mark. I haven't even tagged him. You ain't a baby yet. Oh, Boom. The elbow. Oh, right, right on the jaw. Who do you thought this was? I don't even like you. I don't see that. In off the tag. Let's go, little woman. Oh, look at that. Scoop slam. Let's go, little woman. Look at here. Ooh, that kick. Spin kick Ooh. to the midsection. Take it. And a suplex. Wait a minute. Oh my god, what a German suplex! Unreal! And the instinct from Zelina Vega on display. Very curious move to go for a pinfall at this point. Yeah, this is way too early to be going for the win. Had it scouted. Running clothesline! Somehow has to find a way to make a tag here. Completely agree. Getting the partner in here is absolutely vital. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That was what? Now what was the even that? No. What do you call that move? Oh my goodness. Melina Vega has broken up and Great counter. Impressive in-ring IQ on display. Could it be a buckle ball? Let's see. It is. Oh, 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 it is. What impact. You have picked her off. She is a demeter right now. Get it. Got that from her team. Here's the tag. tag. Going up top. Oh, this is not good. Double oh, stop. We're gonna make the tag here. Attack at this point can change the whole complexion of this match, Michael. Ronda oh, Rousey looking to end this. This'll do it. Will that be the deciding factor? I don't know about why. She had it right where he wanted it. the tag. She tags in the end of the 
Bianca Baylor versus I'm just as shocked as everyone else, Cole. And the instinct from Selena Vega on this play. Charlotte in with the tag. There it comes. With another just a debilitating neck breaker. Suplex. Oh, raw yes. power from the submission magician, and she's not done yet. And another one. Incredible. And she's back in the ring now. And how they survived that is anyone's guess. She's still in this one. A striking blow. What is this? He's going for the cover. I don't know how she keeps kicking out. She kicked out there, but I don't know how much more she can take. And now that one's countered. She's dazed in the corner there. Damn, Shayna Baszler making her think twice. Look out, more knee, time knee, knees. Knee, knee. Absolutely relentless. Oh. 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 Shayna Baszler's got her apart right and where she, she wants her. Oh, Bear down. And she keeps up. That's going to be up. That's going to be up. Straight forearm. She's in control. Boom. Ooh. Down Ooh. across the line. Oh. This could do it. Unbelievable display of determination we're seeing here. Oh, she turns it around. Reverses. Can she take advantage? Desperately needs to make a tag here. I don't know. It's going to be paid right there. Uh -oh. Shot in the back. Rolling cutter. And she shut the door on this one. Hey, soldiers down. This could be it. Wow, just when you think you have the winning hand. Still in it. What a gutsy performance. Wasn't expecting that. What you think? An impressive series of moves. Looks like nobody's budging, Cole. There! That was vicious. Hooked him up. High angle belly and back suplex. Undertaker, what you know about that, Shane? I will be champion. And Shayna Baszler making her think twice. Soul kick. Get back in this corner. Get back in this corner. What a counter. Oh, she's going to win. 
Oh, it didn't go as planned there. Get up there. Oh no, we've got a problem here, guys. I don't know what she can do after that. I can see him. Oh, oh no. no. Falcon Arrow! Desperately trying to get to the corner now. Will it be? I think so. Back inside the ring. She might just be running on instincts at this point. She just will not give up, Cole. Shayna hooked up. Blow it over. Go. Oh, Look at this again. One more time. Ragdolling her opponents. Did we chop it for the rope? But it wouldn't hurt her. Wow. She turned that one around. Oh, wow. What a sequence. Whoa. Not so fast. Harsh impact. Oh, nasty impact. Oh. From the shoulders. Somehow oh, one step ahead of each she's other. She's hurt. She's hurt. Penny predicament. One, two. Near fall after she's near fall. Hurt. What a battle. Wicked body shot. Man, she's got to get herself together here. I'm on their shoulders. Get down in a hurry. Get a beat no time. No time. No time. And Shayna Baszler making her think twice. She returns the favor there. Attack to the midsection. Not where you want to be at this point in the match, guys. Definitely not. Oh, she is in a precarious position. I'll show you what's pretty good, Shayna. Looking to inflict even more damage. Now it's going to get ugly and going to get bad up to the top row. Wait a second. Wait a second. Spanish fly, my goodness. Did they at K just really do that? She's got the shoulders down. What are you doing? One, two, three. Yes, a real performance. Hold on, that's it. The world was there. What was that? Here are your winners. I'm going to add that match to the highlight reel. That's a statement win, Michael. That's a win that says, hey, everybody, look at me. You got that right, Paul. Who are you looking at right there? You know? Yeah, you know. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. And is for the WWE Universal Championship. Like we got to take on the monster of the Oh, big bell. Ron is like, what they say, bro? Like 380. Introducing the challenger. Weighing in at 385 pounds. Ron Strowman. We're 295, so he got like 100. And introducing the champion. From Tennessee, weighing in at 295 pounds, he is the WWE Universal Champion, the Grim Reaper. That's cool. You know why I'm here. 
I will be keeping this title. If it's up to me, man, if they do a cut scene and make This is always a match with enormous implications for the landscape of the entire WWE. This capacity crowd is waiting with bated breath. The Universal Championship, it doesn't get bigger than this. With Samoa Joe banned from the arena, what are the odds Trey can hold on to the Universal Championship against the monster among men, Braun Strowman? I'd say not very good at all, but crazier things have happened lately, like Trey winning the Universal Championship in the first place. Guys, enjoy this match while you can, because it's the last time you'll be seeing Trey on Monday Night Raw for a very, very long time. No, why would you get the champ to the top turnbuckle? Oh my goodness. You deserve that. Because I don't even know why. Gotta be careful not to get counted out here. Oh, we a running body press. And we're getting counted out. Oh, impressive counter. What you thought this was? What you thought this was? Feel that back. Let's go. With the championship at stake, you know these superstars are going to give everything they can oh, to win here tonight. Get the hell off me, bro. With the shoulder tap. Just unmatched power from the monster among men. Boom! Oh, what is this? Backbreaker. Oh, backbreaker. Saw that one coming. Close line oh, takes oh, him oh, down. Oh, Forget oh, about what it. What you thought this was? You know who I am? You see the name down there? You see that name? Get into, get down up. to the floor. Out of my brain. This is the title match we've all been waiting for, guys. And so far, it's demons. delivered the goods. We The hit's adding up a little on the champ. He planned for this and could still rally. Can we pick him up? Can we pick him up? Nope, we got DDT! Him. We got his help to get him. So now we got to perform the one strike. When it comes to Braun Strowman, Corey, I'd say the Monster Strong Man has become the most destructive WWE superstar in history. And in short order. Yeah, Braun Strowman definitely takes inflicting pain to a whole new level, but he's fine with destroying inanimate objects, too. Especially vehicles. Here goes Braun Strowman. That he's blossomed out here. You know, get in this ring, son. Back in from the floor. Feel that big boot. It's champion's advantage. Yeah. The title cannot yeah. change hands by What's count out or What's disqualification. Up What's up now? Take out the knees. Oh, Raw reverses. Oh, oh no. And Strowman hits the running power slam. That might be it for Drew. Wait, that's Samoa Joe. Since I was banned from the building tonight, I had some rare free time on my hands. So I thought, what should I do? Well, you might not know this about me, but I'm a huge fan of men's slow pitch softball. And I actually remembered, Braun, that your old man was one of the greatest softball players of all time. In fact, he hit so many home runs in his day that they called him the Crusher. So I decided to come to your hometown and see the Crusher in action. And he did not disappoint. But now, the game's almost over. I can't wait to meet your dad in the parking lot. I mean, since I got to see what he's capable of with a bat, I figured it's only fair that I show him what I can do. <laughs> <laughs> Braun Strowman has seen it up. He's going to try to hunt down Samoa Joe. And he's also going to get counted out. It's all over. Trey wins. You got to be kidding me. Trey has to be the luckiest guy on the planet because yet again he manages to escape with the Universal Championship. Keep my title. Let's go. You look like a good I'm taking the chance. Whoever wants it, come get it.
I knew Samoa Joe was going to come in soon. He said nobody was taking that title away from me except for him. Well, you lucked out again. Hey, it's not my fault Samoa Joe is such a big fan of softball. Assuming Braun Strowman doesn't end up in jail for whatever he does to Joe, you're going to face Braun again at Money in the Bank. Well, actually, before Money in the Bank. You're putting the Universal Championship match on the kickoff show? Not exactly. The only way I can guarantee Samoa Joe won't be involved again is if your match takes place before the show when the doors are locked and no one else is in the building. It's going to be an empty arena match. Hey, at least this won't be my first empty arena match since I had one before against Jerry Lawler. When was that? Oh, it was in a dream I had, but still, good practice. Speaking of dreaming, I'm gonna go rest up for my big match. Later, Vipes. I mean, Mr. Raw General Manager Randy Orton. <laughs> I hate when we call him Vipes. <laughs> Oh. All right, you guys, look like we're going to end it here. So we had a long journey along the way. Red finally get to qualify for the women's money in the bank match. Looks like I'll be having an empty arena match against Braun Strowman because they just don't want me to be universal champ. But there's nothing they can do about that. So when we come back, we will be talking to Trey. Matter of fact, Let's go ahead and talk to Trey now. No. No. Stop chasing me. Leave me alone. Enter Trey's dream. Return to the hood. Screw it, bro. Let's go to the dream, bro. I wonder what he was dreaming about, though. Well, whatever it was. Sounds like he was pretty terrified. Stop! No! What, what is this? Are we in a baseball team? Dude, it's Randy. I knew it. Come on. I knew I was going to be here again, a dream bringing you, a dream match. you know what? Literally, oh, of Trey oh, taking dude. on Ribby. Oh my god, and Ribby reverses. Dude, Ribby got hands? Does Ribby got some hands? You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. Ribby ain't got no hands. Ruby ain't got no hands. Get him. Get him. Come on, Ruby. Oh, no. Ruby. Oh, you want to kick to the mid fix on Ruby. Ruby. Oh, goodness. Ruby is a fan. Come on. Really? Ruby. No, Ruby. The time has come. For me to get my revenge on you here. Previously, Ribby Remember got the bear train and dance off, but let's I see who remember. comes out on top Some of this time in an official match. Well, at least as official as a match against the giant Ram can get. You and Jerry the King are always trying to play me. That's why I beat him in a league town match. I told you, remember? I told you. So I will be getting my revenge one day, Ribby. One day. Okay, get into that corner. Get into that corner. Oh no, oh no, oh my goodness. Oh, he, he keeps going for the time. Oh, he keeps trying to get this match over here. He keeps trying to get this match over here. Ribby may be sweet and tender, but when it comes to in-ring action, he's as tough as they get. I told you, your revenge was going to come. Oh no, oh no. Uh-oh. I will rid you with the back row. With 295 pounds of hard body, dude. The longer body. this match goes, the hungrier you get. Get up, because we 
You're gonna feel the speed. Jimmy may look cute and friendly, but he's more than meets the eye. You get it? Two. It was a good thing we entered Trey's dream. Trey Soul Ripper finally gets his revenge on Ribby from the dance off that Ribby and Jerry the King Lawler made Trey look like a complete idiot. But you know what? We got the revenge after all. All right, you guys. So. As I was saying earlier, when we come back next video, we will be going to the Money in the Bank pay-per-view. And we will be having an empty arena match against Braun Strowman and Red K. will be the Women's Money in the Bank match. So you know we're going for all titles in WWE. We want whatever title is at stake we want so i want to thank you guys for tuning in and continuing going through this my career in this wwe 2k20 series with me i greatly appreciate you guys and i hope you continue to keep coming back and keep tuning in to the videos because something tells me this is about to get real good you got anything to say to the people my friend please continue to come back because we enjoy you all so can i do your outro can I do your outro? So to all of you that's new, hit that thumbs up button on the video if you enjoyed the content. But to all my Ripper games, and also everyone else that's new, you guys know what you can do for us. Hit that like, share, and subscribe button. Make sure your notification bell is turned on. That's the way every time I drop a video, or we drop a video, you will be notified. So until next time, Ripper Gang, this your boy Soul Ripper, signing out. Stay safe out there, and take care of each other. <laughs>